Welcome to our channel Forensic Pulse Crime Report. Today we will be seeing about the difference between male and female skull. So now we will be seeing about the male skull. The male skull will be larger and heavier. The female skull is smaller and lighter. And coming to the architecture, the architecture will be rugged in the male skull. It is smooth in female skull. The orbits will appear uh, as square shaped in the male skull. It is rounded in female skull. The supraciliary uh, margins will be sharper in the male skull. As you can see, it is very smooth in female skull. The frontonasal angle is distinctly angulated in male skull. Uh, it is uh, smaller or rounded in female skull. The forehead will be sloping in male skull. It is vertical in female skull. The frontal and the parietal eminence will be less prominent in the male skull whereas the occipital protuberance will be more prominent in the male skull. Frontal and parietal eminence will be more prominent in the female skull whereas occipital protuberance is less prominent in female skull. And the zygomatic bone will be more prominent in the male skull. It is less prominent in the female skull. Coming to the palate, it is U-shaped in male skull. It is parabolic shape in female skull. The glabella will be more prominent in the male skull. It is smaller or sometimes absent in female skull. Coming to the mastoid process, it is also known as M-type. Uh, whereas the apex is directed vertically. It will appear straight. It is also known as M-type. Here the apex is directed medially. It is called as F-type. The foramen magnum will be larger in the males. It is smaller in the females. The occipital condyle will be prominent in the male. It is less prominent in females. So I think we have covered the majority male and the female differences of the skull. In the upcoming videos we will uh, talk about the parts of skulls and uh, other uh, details about the skulls in our upcoming videos.